Hey guys, how's it going out there? Uh, Kevin the Rocket here. I am going to be reviewing um, G Data Internet Security. Stay with my partner. I believe he's going to be doing it pretty soon. Um, he's been busy this week, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, my school will be canceled pretty soon because snow's on its way. So if it is, then I'll be doing more reviews. Um, this is a huge installer, 287 megabytes. Um, yeah, it's just outrageous. Uh, but the reason is because it has two engines, Avast and uh, GData. So, I'll be back in one second. Okay, here we go. I got a uh, little review of the antivirus. It was discovered in 1985, I believe. It is Dutch. Um, it runs by, let's see, it has multiple. Uh, products they released. Um, so yeah, I can't really read this because it's all in Dutch. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's taken a little while to download, um, only because it's 287 megabytes, which is huge, so. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and it took about barely 10 minutes to download. As I said, it has two different engines, so it bases off of Vast and Bitdefender A and B, so. Excuse me, I will just um, actually participate in this. Um, I'll install the trial version. Complete. I'll just get these file shredder. Okay, so since this is going to take a little while, I'm just going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from the restart, and here we got this. Uh, welcome to GData. The virus definitions and software from your GData are updated regularly to ensure optimum protection. Therefore, recommend. Okay, so it, re it recommends performing updates. Um, Hang on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Um, I do log in. You have to make a register. You have to register an account. And so here we go, updating engine A, engine B, and you have to update the whitelist. So this may take a few minutes because it's only two engines. Only because it's two engines. Um, engine A might be a fast, engine B might be a bit defender. Engine B might be a vast engine A might be a bit defender, I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah. And here's the G data shredder. So I guess it's the file shredder. Um not really sure how much this is.
you want to download the trial, go to gdata-software.com, home security, scroll down to internet security, click on this, and it's the trial on the one that's like this, but hang on a second. There we go, trial. Let's see by now, Let's see how much it is. For a single PC, the internet security is forty dollars. I guess that lasts a year, I'm not really sure. For the let's see, what else do they have here? Total security. Fifty bucks. And just for the antivirus, it will be probably twenty or twenty-five. Thirty dollars. Okay. So as you can see, we're still updating. Um, I'll be back in one second. Okay, so here I am back, and the engine's all successfully updated, uh, and the whitelist also files are just successfully. So we're going to close this. Uh, actually, the program version can be updated, so... Okay. So now tell me how to restart. So I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I was having a chat with my partner. Um, so I decided to do something different. I have malware right here. And I'm actually going to try to run it on the computer. That GDATA is on right now with the virtual machine. And I'll see if it blocks any of it or what happens with it. So as we go into this folder, okay, we already got something from engine A. Disinfect. Use on all. So a lot of these are being taken out. The ones that are not, I'm going to I'm actually going to go an easier way. And check for viruses. These are all from Engine AIC. Engine B there for now. Okay, so we got a few programs in here. I'm gonna start running a few of them. Just go with this one. This one. But actually, I'm not going to install that that one. Okay, so right now the system is frozen.
Okay, so. Um. By the looks of it, something is. Okay, so it's not letting me run those files, so. I'll just run a few of these. So you got through. Uh, this is up to date just to show you guys too, by the way. I did it before. Um, so yeah, it's running. Trojan, blocked. Sorry about that, commander is running. Okay, that one's blocked. Blocked. And I want to get a fake AB. Hopefully this one will work. course none of these are gonna work. Okay, well, I can't find any fake scanner pages, so I'm going to run a scan for viruses on these one more time. Okay, so nothing found. I'm gonna go up here to C Cleaner.
So yeah, I guess it's scanning, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, while these scans are going on, I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, I'll probably show you guys this all the time. Uh, my partner, uh, if you go to my channel and click check that out, um, Antivirus Softwares by A-C-A-F-A-C-A-A-1. His name is Alexander. He's uh, my partner now. Um, he's a very good guy. And uh, we're going to be working together. So. Just comment, I mean, uh, subscribe to him. And as you can see, my system and CPU right now is 100%. And GData is taking up, you can see it's going up 50%, 30, 25, it's just going up and down. So. Next review, I think I'm going to do a full uh, uh, prevention test against malware by just full version. Okay, so here we are um, in Volat Security Zone. So yeah, it's just a malware trace. Whenever scanning, we got. Uh, 16 link 19 there 45 so yeah it's just going up and down 19 megs regular and so like 69 megs As you can see, I also removed these two files that were here. I did not want them to be detected as malware because they obviously were, but I wasn't scanning them just to find those. I wanted to do, uh, do a prevention test, so. And I'm going to let these finish and I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Um, and here we go. Let's see what it found. Malware bytes found one object. Hijack zones. Um, fix this. And the virus check found nothing. Okay, so as you can see, Hitman Pro found that one thing. Not a big deal. Um, I'm not even gonna run Norton Power Research because I'm already on 20 minutes. I do not know why my microphone keeps on going down so low, but I keep on having to turn it up. Hopefully, you can hear me fine, but if not, sorry. So uh, I guess that's it. It did a pretty well job. Um, if you guys can please comment, rate, and subscribe, uh, that'd be great. So I will catch you guys later, and have a good day.